Hello, faith friends. Welcome to Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to this House to House. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I would uh, be willing to bet one of the most popular phrases in the book of Ecclesiastes, if you're reading through that with us, is that life is meaningless, that all we do is a chasing after the wind. And I thought it was interesting today's uh, devotion that I'm reading through a, a book from Henry Nouwen uh, is called Waste Your Time with God. Waste being in quotes um, because it's something just being in God's presence that the world doesn't see as productive, as valuable in terms of the way we spend our time. But let me just read you uh, this short paragraph. John Eudas talks about that moment, that point that lies before comparison, before the beginning of the vicious cycle or the self-fulfilling prophecy. That is the moment, the point or place where meditation can enter in. It is the moment to stop reading, stop writing, stop speaking or socializing, and to just waste your time in meditation. When you find your mind competing again, you might plan an empty time of meditation, in this way interrupting the vicious circle of your ruminations and entering into the depth of your own soul. There you can be with him who was before you came, who loved you before you could love, and has given you your own self before any comparison was possible. In meditation, we can come to the affirmation that we are not created by other people, but by God. That we are not judged by how we compare with others, but by how we fulfill the will of God. I was so thankful uh, as I head into, I'm heading into a week of study uh, this next week. I'm so thankful to my fellow pastor, Jeff, after I had told him that I was going to spend a lot of the time trying to get some of the fra- framework of our family ministry together and work on policies and Um, set up background checks and all of those things. And he wisely came and said, that doesn't sound like study leave at all. That doesn't sound like refreshment and renewal to me at all, which is supposed to be the purpose of of study leave. And so I completely changed my goals for that time. And I'm simply looking for an opportunity and looking forward to a chance to maybe what the rest of the world would think uh, is wasting time, Uh, being able to read some books that I've been wanting to uh, for a while to, to have a bit of an adventure to get some exercise. Um, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to have a chance to talk to a friend about spiritual direction that I've been meaning to do for a long time. But mostly just sit, enjoy beautiful uh, surroundings, uh, and, and simply be in God's presence. I think of, you know, the, when we think of a kingdom or an, an actual kingdom of this world, especially when we think of like the medieval times, that oftentimes when the king was in the room, was in the hall, whether it was at a banquet or some gathering, or uh, we're not expected to do anything. You just sit there ready for what the king will say and ready to respond if the king asks, but you just sit and be in, in the king's presence. And too often we, uh, we judge our time, we judge our, our lives, and even our faith on what we're producing and what it's going to get us ahead. And so in some ways, it's a, the gift of Ecclesiastes is, is to remind us that, yeah, our lives really are sort of meaningless and, and we're chasing after the wind, uh, especially if, if they're not lived in simply in the presence of God, enjoying what we can, glorifying God, uh, and, and seeking to please God first. So I, I wish you some wasted time this week and, uh, and pray that you can have an opportunity to do that. So as I sit here with my, my life group, part of what we do is just waste time. We just spend time together, getting to know one another better and, and enjoying that time. So, um, so I'm going to get back to that and I uh, hope that you have some great wasted time with God and with others this week. Take care. Bye-bye.